Greetings, fellow golf clashers. We are back with a uh, walkthrough guide for Tropic Kings Tournament. Uh, these are going to be the expert holes. After uh, splitting up my last tournament and playing my main in the Masters, I'm going to be doing both of them back in expert this time. So should be able to put together a fairly thorough, thorough guide for you here. Uh, hole number one here, the, the win that we've got gives us a couple of different ways that we can play this hole. Uh, the way that I'm going to play it here uh, that I'm going to show you first is, is the safe route. Um, it's relatively straightforward. You're going to add 10% to your adjustment with your driver. Uh, use full right spin and, and not too much top spin. The danger here is going far or staying too much to the left. If you go too far, you see the end of the fairway there kind of starts to slope down and you can catch that run and, and keep going down towards uh, in, into the rough. Um, with that drive, it sets us up with this uh, second shot here with a maximum distance sniper. Um, it, it, it's, there's nothing really a whole lot to worry about here. I played this one at a plus 10% adjustment. I wasn't quite sure. Uh, I took a look and, and just kind of figured that might be right. I think we're going to play it with no elevation in the end because I end up adjusting 11.2 rings and, and that stays a little bit too far to the left. Um, with this amount of tailwind, it will push it significantly uh, forward, uh, it, it, your ball guideline is going to expand. So you're going to want to offset the guideline there uh, at, the, at the beginning when you're before you adjust your shot. Um, I think I'm going to end up leaving it about a square and a half short for that 10 mile an hour tailwind and play it at a one to one adjustment. All right, the second way that we can play this is going to depend entirely on your equipment, uh, if you can play this shot or not. You will need uh, an apocalypse. Um, if you have a little bit lower level, like a three or a four, you can probably still get away with it, but you're gonna have to end up using full overpower, which makes it a little bit more dangerous of a shot. But just like our drive with the other one, we're gonna add 10% to our uh, to our adjustment. So with an apocalypse level five, that's about nine rings. So you, what I wanted to do here was go full top and full right, or full left spin, excuse me. Um, I wasn't quite sure how much curl we were gonna need, so I went just a little bit under max curl, and that ends up working out perfectly for us. Um, I could probably end up using a little bit more overpower but this uh, not not going full overpower allows me uh, a better chance of hitting the perfect shot and with this setup here it it, it left me really nice least set up for uh, this, this minimum distance thorn that you're going to see. Um, it's, it, with this kind of shot here, the way I normally play it, you can, you can try a dunk. The wind here is pr sets up pretty well for a dunk. But uh, with a shot like this, what I like to do is go about three back and uh, put the, the third bounce right in the cup with the thorn here. Um, with this tailwind, it's going to expand it just a little bit. So if you leave it just a little bit shy, that's not a bad way to go either. And then do a minimum adjustment. So that's just under three rings here for the uh, the minimum thorn, and I end up making the eagle here. Uh, there, it's it's a lot of different ways you can play it, but um, the dunk is 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 a favorite of some. I'm not uh, as big of a fan of that as some others, but it, it is a an effective way to go about it. But this is kind of the way that I like to do it. You could do a full backspin shot. It'll be a medium adjustment if you try that, and. Uh, if you do, then just make sure that you don't put your second your second hop too far past, because it's going to be a medium adjustment with uh, with the tailwind. Also, um, I did have an opponent that tried this shot also that ended up in the rough just off the fairway. So I wanted to show the wind is kind of very forgiving here. You will end up having to uh, to overpower your uh, your your uh, rough iron if you do play it like that. But with that tailwind, it's very forgiving, and you can still get up here really nicely for a birdie.